kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this is the video series on music player app using Firebase in Android Studio. All right, guys. Up till now, we have done developing the admin app for our, uh, I mean, the admin feature uh, that he can upload the songs to the Firebase storage. And now we will try to. And I will teach you how to display the songs which are stored in the Firebase storage and uh, show them inside a recycler view. So let's get started. And also, when the user clicks on the uh, recycler view item, the, the song will be played. So let's get started. So here we have. Uh, let's create a new activity and we will create the empty activity. For that, we can say show. Songs activity. Alright guys, so now the activity is created. So first of all, go to your XML file of your activity and this change it to relative layout. And here we will have the recycler view and it will be match parent and match parent and ID will be recycler view and then we will have the progress bar so we can say progress bar and it will be web content the height will also be wrap content and we will say center in parent to true then we set the id to progress bar show songs and let's set it in determinate to true so that it runs for the infinite times and okay so here i have a typo mistake so now everything is fine so now let's go to our uh, show songs activity and first of all initialize the cycle view then we have initialize the progress bar and let's set it like recycler view equal to recycler view find view by id r dot id dot recycler view um, then we will have the progress bar so we can say progress bar equals to find you by id r dot id dot progress bar show songs and then we will have the recycler view dot set as fixed size and it will be equal to true and then we will say recycler view dot set layout manager view linear layout manager and it is also equal to this then okay so again uh, what we will be requiring is some of the uh, things so first of all we will have we will be requiring an, a list of type upload songs because we need to fetch all the songs from there so we will store it inside our array list uh, i mean of type upload song and we name it as m upload and then we can say we have five storage and we name it as m storage then we will have the database reference and say reference 
and then we can say okay so after this what we can do first of all initialize our m upload list so we can say m upload equal to new array list and then we need to create uh, the okay so before that let's have the database reference so here we can say database reference let's rename it to database reference then we need to point initialize our database reference so we can say database reference equal to file based database dot get instance dot get reference dot and instead of child we can simply say songs and then we need to have the value event listener so we can say value event listener and value event listener and then we can simply say it like value event listener equal to database reference dot add value event listener new value event listener and inside this uh, add value event listener we are first of all going to clear our list so we can say mplot dot clear then we need to use the for loop to fetch for all the data so we can say for data snapshot dss data snapshot dot get children and then we can say like okay so now we can fetch all the data so we can say upload so we can say here upload song dot song equal to dss dot get value and inside this get value we can specify our upload song dot class all right then we can we need to set the key so for that we can uh, we can get the key like this is dot get key but for this we can say upload song dot set m key and it will be equal to dss dot get key okay so then we can simply add it so we can say m upload dot add and inside this we can add our upload song object Right, so after this for loop, so we need to now uh, use or I mean say progress part dot set visibility and we say visibility view dot cone. Okay, and inside this on cancel, so we need to make sure that we can print a message. So we can say database error dot get message, and after this message is this displayed, we need to set the visibility of the progress part to gone and yes all right then okay then inside our own uh, destroy method we need to stop or i mean remove the value and listener so we can override the method on destroy then we can say database reference dot remove event listener and here we can pass our value event listener okay so I think that is enough for uh, today or okay so I finish it in this video all right so let's continue so now what we uh, we need to do is we need to now create an, an adapter class so we need to create new Java class and name it as songs adapter and it will extend with recycler view dot adapter and here we can say songs adapter dot songs adapter view holder so now we need to first of all create this class so we can say create class song adapter view holder and it will extend with the recycler view dot view holder and here we can generate the constructor so here you can say create constructor matching super then we also need to implement all those methods we have the cone create view holder then we have uh, on bind view holder as well as the get item 
count method so what we are going to do first of all is we are uh, first of all need to have the constructor so first of all we will initialize our context then after this context we will have the list of type load song and we name it as array list songs then we have the constructor so we can say public song adapter and inside this we have the context then we will have the list of type upload song and here we will have array list song this dot context equal to context and this dot array list song equal to array list song all right then after this we will need to have uh, a new uh, song layout cla uh, class so for that let's go to layouts and click on new layout resource and here we will have song item and here we will have some of uh, the views so first of all it will have uh, it will be of card views and will have some values so first of all the width will be match parent and height will be only 80 dp so here i set it to 80 dp then we need to set the margin and it will be 8 dp then we say card elevation and that will be also be 8 dp all right then after this uh, inside this card view we are going to have a linear layout that will be match parent and wrap content then the orientation will be horizontal and the id will be okay so we don't need the id yet but we will be providing the weight sum and let's give it to 10 and we say layout gravity and it will be centered all right so inside this linear layout we are going to have uh, another linear layout so here we can say linear layout and it will be match parent and wrap content and the orientation will be vertical and margin will be adp then inside this linear layout we are going to have two text views so first of all the first text view will be uh, okay match parent web content then we can say text and it will be song title let's say and then we will have the text size it will be 20 sp and we will have the id as song title and text style will be bold then we can say text color and the color will be color of color primary and also we will have another text view let's just copy that and this time the height i mean the text size will be of 18 sp then we will have the text as uh, let's say 3 it will be the duration then we will have the margin top and it will be equal to 10 dp then we will have margin left and it will be 5 dp and text color will be color primary and let's set the id to song duration so we can say song duration and okay so that is it we have the two text views here with the song title and uh, duration so guys i think the video is uh, getting a, a bigger so let's pause it and let's continue from the last part of the video series so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye